ADA Films. We're back. We're back. Another episode. Sunday alarm. Bueno. Do, 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 do. Right. Happy Veterans Day. Salute to all the veteran homies. Shout out to y'all. Thank you guys for. Thank you guys for your service. Keeping us alive. Uh huh. <laughs> shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to all the customers that are veterans. There's a few of you guys. Thank you guys for shopping with us. Definitely. We appreciate you guys. And shout out to the homies that gave us all the marine uh, gear. Stolen Valor. I wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I do. I love them shirts. Yeah, they fit good. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. So yeah, the long my, sleeves. So one of our homies, he yeah. came through because of my cousin. He's a marine too. Um. And then he one day he's been a good cousin like he's been shopping with us since he like since that first time he came he comes pretty he he comes way more than my cousin low key, <laughs> um, yeah. and he brought us a bunch of uh, Marines shirts and they just say Marines on the back you know like Marines like like workout gear mm-hmm. and I wear them shits all the time and it's funny because I'll be walking around the arts district and some one one time this guy went like that to me and I was just like why is he doing that to me <laughs> and then in my head I looked down and I was like oh. I just like, he, he, but he didn't say nothing. He didn't say thank you for your service. No, he just went like that to me. And I was just like, I was like, bro, Dang. trust me, pa. I ain't. <laughs> it's good though. Honestly, no cap. I had no idea you did that. What? what? I had no idea you had like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, all of us have it. Yeah. Even Max has some. Like he, bro, he dropped off a he pretty good, off good sack. He was like, oh, thank you guys. I know you guys work out. Boom. That's it. Right. So that's kind of But the funny thing is I only wore them to my home gym after that incident. Uh, well, it wasn't even an incident. It was just like somebody thought that I was probably a real Marine. So then now I thought about it. I was like, I'll wear them when I'm working out at home. But yeah. if I go to like fucking the gym, I'm not going to do it because won't stolen think valor. <laughs> you know, not about that. Use them for the runs. All right. But yeah, shout out to you guys. Yeah. How was um, your weekend? My weekend. What did I do this weekend? Oh, we went to the Gesalfestein show. That was cool. That was nice. It was short. But it was cool. Yeah. Like to me, that was like a perfect night. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I me calling it before eleven thirty, like the show ended, like going up to my apartment. I was like, all right, perfect. No, honestly, you did the right move. You yeah. Mean, there was uh, yeah, I heard, I heard Willie went out to like four or five a.m. Bruh. That's what yeah. I heard. I left I left around one because these I could tell these fools were just like no good. shooting shots and I was like, All right, this is my cue. Yeah. But it was fun. Um yeah, my homie told me he's going to go see him in Austin, I think, this upcoming week. So, Yeah, he's like on the, like the typical like after Coachella tour where he Fire. goes to all the cities. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, last year was the Underworld. This year was Gesalfestein. Justice 2 did the same thing. I mean, every DJ does it. Yeah, right after all the festivals. Yeah, they, they, start, they start doing their personal tours. Um, Sick. But yeah, I mean, steady weekend. Um, last week, we dropped a shirt, the Liquid Dream shirt. Yep. And this hat. Almost Look, out of the tees. We're almost out of the tees. The hats, we made a good amount, so they'll be here. Um, Yeah, I mean, and then work was chill. Saturday, literally steady day. Nothing really came in standout-ish. Yeah. Um, being, again, always very selective with what we take in. Um, Not for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was cool fucking Sunday. Um, It was Rose Bowl Sunday, but... I was telling Rob earlier, it was funny because some guy brought in a, like a good vintage pack of wrestling tees. Didn't even go to Rose Bowl. He was like, yo, I just saw y'all take stuff like this. So I brought it, did a bunch of trades for it. And yeah, it's cool. Did, did you ever work a Rose Bowl Monday around two? Um, I think once or twice just because it was right bef- before I left that like that was the thing. Bro, it was Rose brutal. Bowl Monday is like 2015, <laughs> 2016 round two. Like... I love the selection, but I hated working it because it was just so busy. So, like, for you guys that don't know, Sean um, would go to Rose Bowl every Rose Bowl uh-huh. every time, and that that week was hectic because at that point of my buying career at round two, I wasn't that good with vintage yet. I was just learning. So I would have to deal with like all the people flying in from Rose Bowl and like I didn't know what shit was valued at and there was yeah. no like market for it. Like in reality, like it was hard to find stuff like to like see what it costs. Mm-hmm. So dealing with everybody that came and everybody that came with the green polo fucking duffel bag and I was just like, fuck. And, you know, I'm a sneaker streetwear guy. So <laughs> at that point it was just hard, but it was like it was like growing pains, you know, but whatever. So then get back to Sunday's. Sean would go to Rose Bowl super early, yeah, like 4 or 5 a.m., cash out. And then that day he would tell us, don't buy no vintage because I'm buying it all. Um, so he would kill it. And then so Mondays came and he would tell everybody, hey, I'll be here at 9 a.m., pull up if you guys want. You guys don't have to. That was one cool thing is 
he didn't have to but you know i, I, didn't, I had no life so i was like i'll pull up <laughs> extra hours <sighs> um and yeah just tagging picturing all day vintage yeah it, like bro it was so much work but but low-key again like paying attention to what i was tagging and picturing and all that stuff gave me like all right he's selling this at 40 i could pay 20 25 bucks for this he's selling this at 60 it's like at the end of the day like even if you don't have knowledge it's just like knowing basic math and profits where you're just like all right cool he sells these type of teas at mm -hmm. this point but also the market changed because at that point we were selling any good wrestling tea that now probably goes for 150 200 for 50 bucks shit we we're selling the dream team um the like rap the, the, the dream team yeah. that goes for like two now yeah bro like 60 bucks Shit. i remember del falco jason would always run through them like he would get a new one all the time because he would switch his 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 like worn in one for a crispy one every nice. time because we were getting them so much and even bulls rap teas were so cheap but wow. yeah shout out to rose bowl sundays well rose bowl mondays at round two because it low-key just sped up the process of like the, the learning yeah see i didn't get that that much so even when we went to New York and I had to like kind of learn on the fly over there. I was like, fuck. And I remember there was this one guy that would always bring crazy ass vintage and he was kind of like a dick. So if I didn't know the price of something, he's like, you don't know what this goes for? And I'm just like, hey bro, I'm learning. Like this is how, is how it is too. But it was cool. Like, you know, you figure it out over time. And like you say, as long as you pay attention and you kind of see like, oh shit, this goes for this, this goes for that. You got a better feel for it. But yeah, yeah the, the market's crazy. And yeah, I was talking about it too. Uh, Skate pulled up yesterday, and he was telling me like, "Yeah, bro, like, like with some of the crazier tees now, it's like people will see, oh, this one person sold it for that much, so now it goes for that much." When it's like, eh, that's not kind of true. It's just like it's very subjective. But yeah, the vintage market, it's it's cool. It's its own little world. And when, it's dope. When did you guys see that? Like the prices went start going crazy. It's just like a steady incline. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't like a overnight thing, I would say. Mm -hmm. COVID? COVID, yes. But then it was. It already started going up. Like, it, but, it, but it does, what he said right now, it does make a lot of sense. Because, for example, my bunny tea, the Sonic Youth Gracias tea. Yeah. I valued it when I got it, a rack, 1500 You know, that was my value. And then mm -hmm. Justin Reed, I think, sold one for like three bands. And in my head, I'm like, bro, this tea's not worth three bands. But to me, it's just like, I just like the tea, you know, I'm not, um, not in it for the money. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, okay, cool. But it does happen. Like Sean, there's a, I always talk about this one. There's a, there's a famous clip on the round two show where he bought us a heart shaped box tea. I think anywhere from a hundred or 300 bucks. It was one of those numbers. It was, but it was super cheap compared to what it's worth. It's a $2,500 shirt in my mind. Some people value it even higher, but in my mind, that's 20, 25 two around there but at the end of the day with vintage what's cool about it and a lot of people don't get it at the end of the day i don't want to say it's a one-on-one -on -one, but they're so worn in differently that at mm -hmm. the end of the day it is a one-on-one -on -one piece the way you're wearing it the way you have it there's like i have two memorial princess diana shirts they're the same shirt one of them just has different wear so it's just they look different they fit different but i like how both of them fit but every shirt i feel like has its own value and it's just at the end of the day if you're not in it for money you don't really care what it's worth but then if you're buying stuff because like oh this is a two thousand dollar shirt it's like bro like like, like what yeah it doesn't matter yeah it's like and i think that's one of the cool things about vintage too like especially when you're like actually in it it's nostalgia and it's like you kind of could get also a feel of what some people are if they're actually in it for what they like what they're in for like i like rap tees so like sometimes people oh shit you like that person yeah cool you know what i mean or like a video game tee or something like that where it's like how we talk about shoes sometimes you see somebody wearing a cool pair of shoes is another thing where you might relate to somebody with it so but, yeah like my iron maiden shirts yeah. i would always buy the same one with yeah. the eddie character in the front um but i remember they started declining because they so I've, I've been wearing them since like riff right before i remember i got one from matt plunkett Oh shit! For like super <laughs> cheap, he get, and again, like he gave me a real vintage tee for like thirty bucks. Yeah, and I was like, bet, done, take Sick. it, nice fit, nice. Um, and then round two came, and then I remember they had the same tee, just in better condition. I had already worn this for like three, four years. Um, and they had it at the grand opening, and I paid four hundred dollars for it. 
and I didn't ask for a discount because it was the round two opening and I wanted to support them and everything because they supported me in the back end. Um, but then they started declining and now those shirts are 100, 150. Like you could find them for cheap. And people were asking me like, oh, they're, are you going to sell yours because they're declining? And I'm like, bro, I like the shirt, you know, like I'm not going to sell it. I genuinely like the shirt, you know, like it's, it fits nice. And to me, it's a, it's comfortability. Like if it's comfortable, it feels nice. Like well, I, I've been wearing this tee the whole week. This is like a white tee to me. This oh, two tee. joint. <laughs> bro, literally I don't take it off because to me, it's just like, as long as I don't sweat in it or anything, like I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like I take it off to go to sleep. I put it back on. It's, it's literally a white shirt for me at this point. But it's a nice shirt. Shout out Sean. He gave it to me. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's also another thing too, where like, just like the sneaker market, bro, a lot of stuff evened out even in the vintage market where it was, even a couple years back, it was going for a lot more than what it is now. And that's okay. Cause it's the buyer's market more than it, it is anything else, which if there are certain things you're looking for during that time, you might be able to get it for a better price now. I don't even necessarily say that it's like going down. It's just coming back to reality. Yeah, what he said, like, bro, like when I got into shoes, you go into Riff Flight Club website, the Grails were three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars was like I'm never buying this shoe ever, like can't afford it. So now, um, I think to me a thousand dollar shoe you're getting a quote unquote Grail, like a good, really good shoe, which would be a Union One, Storm Blue or Black Toe, or like a SB Four, which is a great shoe is 500 six depending the size four if it, you're going smaller um people ask me like oh do you think ever it's ever gonna go up and i'm like bro no i don't think so you know like i think we're leveling out sure maybe if something spikes they'll all go up but i think the clientele and then us as people were smart enough that we are gonna be like oh i remember what happened in 2020 don't invest because it's going to come back down. Mm -hmm. Like you learn from those mistakes. And then sometimes like for me, like if a customer comes in, it's like, oh, well, it's bound to them. Like, I'm like, bro, if you think that, go ahead, keep it. It's yours. You make the, you make the mistake or you make, if it does go up, you hit, you know? But to me, I'm, I'm selling it for what it's worth. Like, here you go. Like adjusting on the fly um, is a big thing for us too. Yeah. No, perfect example. Even yesterday, uh, some dude brought in some crazy pairs like, uh sp travis uh off-white the mca joint and then a, a fragment one um and i guess like a couple months back you had offered him on the fragment one it was used like 1600 and i told him like bro like that was, was it the size eight yeah yeah and see was, it's a couple months ago and i was like hey bro and it like, was like super clean like yeah LPS. super crispy yeah, yeah. he brought the last got soul yeah and I told him, I was just like, yeah. And then again, I think I had offered him that. Uh -huh. And he literally told me, he's like, bro, the highest offer I got at Godzilla was $800. That's crazy. And I was just like, in my head, I was just like, confirmed. We, we give the best prices. Like some people are like, oh, you guys slow bone. And so it's like, bro, go, go. I always tell people, go shop it around and you'll yeah. find out. Or even if somebody tells us like, oh, this person offered me this much. Hey, bro. Take it. I'll tell it. you, take yeah. it. Yeah. Like, What'd you offer him? I offered him 14, which I thought was still super fair. Like, we probably priced it at, like, two. Ooh, yeah. Because it was mad clean, but still, it was like, bro, like, um, yeah, the price went down. Like, what do you want me to do? You know what I mean? Like, so. And I, and he was like, damn, I'm just going to hold him longer then. And I was like, uh, you, you're, I don't know if that's, whatever, you know, it's your shoe, but it's kind of like where, what the market is. Like, you could just see, even if you go, like, on stock, whatever, you could see the sales all just declining price-wise. Because there's people that are holding on to them, too, where they might need the bread. And they're like, man, screw it. I'm just going to click yeah, the button. Yeah, press the button. Yeah, and take their bread. But it's cool. It's, it it's been a minute, right, since we had a frag in here? I haven't run around. No, like really? two weeks ago, we had a oh, size okay. 11. Yeah. 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 And I thought it was his, yeah. but it was, it was somebody Jason's. else's. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, freaking. Um, they uh, For that shoe, it, it, it's a trip. We still do get it in pretty frequently. And they do always move for us, thankfully. So it was cool. It's one yeah, of the and ones. I feel like, again, like we buy them to sell. And people know like we're fair with our trades. So. Yeah, that too. Yeah, but um, yeah, like I think one of the, the craziest like ones that don't move like they used to are like the whole off white set. Oh yeah, off white sneakers right now, bro. Like it, that trophy room at seven hundred dollars. And K fan was in here the other day and how yeah. he was back throwing pairs for fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, whatever. Like hotcakes. Hotcakes and selling them, and then we're yeah. like, bro, we have a pristine one for seven hundred dollars. Yeah, I think I sold one with the blue laces uh, during the pandemic era, like for three k, and I was like, "Bro, I hit a lick just because I had the blue laces." It was like an extra five hundred bucks. Yeah. But now, brand new, it's like 
twelve fifty maybe. Yeah. And then to me, like people are like, Oh, like are you panicking? I'm like, bro, no, I don't I, I don't care. You know, this is what I do, you know, this is what I like to do, you know. Like it's not to me, it's like better better for me. I you know, we're selling shoes for a really good price. His family came in on Saturday, the one that bought the dunks, and she was like, Oh, I've been seeing all y'all steals, blah blah blah. Sick. Like yeah. she was just hyped, like and then she's just like I'm going to get all my Christmas gifts here. Like she literally bought Christmas gifts now because she saw the good prices on two dunks. That's dope. And literally was just like, and then when we gave her the tote bag and everything, she was like, That's oh, it's going to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. But to her, she bought a St. John for 90 bucks, which again, that used to be $500. Easy 500. And she bought an undefeated dunk, the blue one, the blue and purple one. Yeah. And she's like, oh, this just has nice colors. And I'm like, yeah, like if you think about it, it's a really nice shoe. It has good materials. It's undefeated. Co- collab. Good color So combo. it has like a lot, even though it's a $100 shoe, it has a lot of cool things going for it. You know, like if you're like a streetwear guy or a sneaker guy, you know about undefeated, blah, blah, blah. So to them, it's just like, oh, I remember these shoes where it used to be five, $400, not the undefeated, but, you know. Yeah. But, but again, I was telling our homie Edwin this, that, I like being that store that is not necessarily a resale store anymore. Yes, of course we are, but it's becoming, it's going to slowly become a store where like you can go and buy shoes no matter what, like, as in like you could, somebody like, uh, somebody from the community could be like, I need new shoes. You're going to find a 50, $60 Huff Air Max that is a really good material shoe. And you're going to be like, that's only 60 bucks. Those undefeated dunks, 90 bucks. Even like the Kobe's, we have a, that eight and a half for 150. It's like, bro, it's a really good price yeah so to me it's cool that it's not necessarily like a reseller coming in and cashing out it's like just the community walking in and being like oh a good well-priced shoe that we can wear and not feel bad that we're thrashing it or blah 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 anything yeah even with the the use section going back to where it's like bro a lot of the stuff we take in is slightly worn so it saves people that extra couple dollars or even sometimes we price it for like half the price of what we price it for brand new even if it's still crispy and it's like you're getting more bang for your buck like yeah it's like i don't know to me that the used stuff it's like vintage where it's like you know it's repurposed you keep moving it forward where you don't have to undies some shit and waste more money yeah and it's a yeah. it's a really good selection i would say yeah like you gotta find a little bit of everything for sure like i think this guy same thing he was making up his mind between a canteen dunk or a pata wave air max he ended up with the canteen I, to my personal opinion, the pad is a little better, but, but you know, everybody has a preference. He was like 75 bucks or 140, which are still really good prices. But in his head, he was like, I'm going to take the $75 one. Yeah. Easy bet to me. I'm just like, bet. (laughs) And I think it it goes to like the back end too, where like, if somebody comes in here and, and I used to feel crazy being like, Oh, 50 bucks. We're out to the point where I'm like, I'm not even going to offer. I'm just going to pass because it's going to be so low. But now I'm just like, all right, 50 bucks. And then, but they're, they don't feel crazy because they know they're going to see it on the, on the Instagram for 80 tops. Yeah, I know that. Um, so there's no like, oh, damn, they priced it for 150 or they priced it for 100, you know? Yeah, it's never like a freaking like yeah. crazy up, up market and everything. Yeah. But yeah, and also it's just, bro, like if you, you see the market now for a lot of stuff, it's just, <laughs> it's hella low, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It is. I mean, personally, like, I like the fact that, like, you come in here and you see, like, the Lunars for, like, half the price of retail. And you see, like, a lot of shoes that, like, again, would be, like, 150 in store brand new, but you could get it here for, like, 60 bucks, 70 yeah. bucks. Even then, like, a lot of, like, families come in here and that's the shoes that I show them, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, look, 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 look at these. These are half off from retail. And yeah. they're like, ah. Some, I mean, don't get me wrong. They don't buy them yeah. but at least they know it's like well fuck they had some cheap shoes in there yeah no i've seen people come back and be like oh i remember i stopped by because i stopped by to eat next door and mm. i've seen you guys have really well priced stuff and they come back yeah because sometimes people will walk by and they get intimidated because they see the shoes wrapped or like they see like certain things in here and they think that everything's going to be expensive or they, they just have a misconception of like how everything's overpriced yeah like how i talked too. about it in a couple of episodes before about like the mall stores yeah and one of our homies was just telling us he's like oh i walked into one and bro they still have form runners at 400 and i was just like bro like in what world <laughs> you know like now again like and it's to me it's just like bro 400 dollars for a form runner like it's just look at your phone and you're gonna r- realize that those are worth 150 tops if that you know yeah, maybe for two a- for an older colorway and i get it there's still a market for everything but <sighs> you just gotta be fair you know because what if, let's say you buy a shoe 
and you don't know nothing about sneakers. You buy a shoe. I, I, I get you for 350 on a foam runner in the current market right now where the foam runners are 150 You go home and you tell your whole family or you tell your friends, I bought 350 It came up. Oh, you're excited. And somebody tells you, like, bro, that's a $100 shoe. You're not going to do nothing about it, but you're going to have a bad taste about that store where you're going to be like, all right, never going there. It's literally like scamming somebody. Yeah. Like literally. you're scamming people, you know, like. Yeah, because it's like a way of you're taking advantage of a person that doesn't know better in, in a way. You know what I mean? And granted, like everybody has a phone. You can do your own research. But still, it's like it's, it's kind of it's a whack feeling if you find out like, fuck, I, I paid too much for this. Yeah. And even then, like I remember like, I, I remember times where like we'll help, we'll help customers and you guys be like, you guys will already know, damn, that shoe went down. Yeah. Well, I'll Rob, tell them whatever, 125. Yeah. All right, bet. And then and they get like, hyped because yeah. they're like, oh, what the fuck? Like 25 yeah. bucks less? Sick. Yeah. No, like if I see, like we, the thing about it is it's like we pay attention to the, the wall. Like if people might be like, oh, they're just looking, but no, like, bro, we're literally paying attention. So when we see you grab something and in my head, I'm like, damn, I, we had that shoe for a minute. Let me make sure that that's the current price, like right now. Um, and if it's not the current price, we tell them like, oh, we could actually do this if you really want the shoe. And they'll be like, oh, bet. But sometimes we look at it and it goes up, but we're never going to go up. Like, for example, um, the other day, this guy bought the Mambasita Sweet 16. Yeah. Um, Kobe. Um, I think, what, 550? Mm -hmm. And same thing. But I know we've had most of those for a good minute. So I told DC, I'm like, oh, just look up current price. Looked up current price literally on the dot, 550, like 575, some shit like that. And where the guy was like, can you do any better? I'm like, bro, no. Like, we can't at all. Because even though it's been sitting, we still have it at the perfect price, you know, which is 550 for that size that he took. But, yeah. But it's just, again, just pay, being aware of what you're selling in a way. We're like, oh, yeah, we can do a little better or no, you know. Yeah, but, and some people appreciate the fact that you're taking the time to make sure you're not, like, Jimmy. Trying to, yeah, trying to like take advantage. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like you say it all the time, like, bro, we're consumers first, and we don't want to go somewhere and feel the same shit. Like, damn, like they drugged me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I right, but I gotta let the people know. But what? What happened <laughs> with the Mamacitas? The name? Oh, oh fucking Instagram. Let the, let the people know. Let the people know. Uh, luckily, uh, I mean, <laughs> Mamacita, the name is trademarked, and we, we got hit. Um. We don't, like we can't put Mamacita anymore on Instagram. So the question is, what are you gonna put, Mamacita? No, just Sweet Sixteen. I switched it on the website too. I said I did uh, everything already. I went on the back end, I, and then even like for like I, I think we probably put KD. We don't put Kevin Durant or nothing. We're just gonna put KB. You know, just it's kind of like treating it like if it's a designer brand. You think it'll get to the point where it's Kobe too? Could be, but Kobe's a it's a name. You know, like Kobe's a lot more broad. Even yeah. it's a beef. Mambasita like, is literally... Like, bro, it is. It is, yeah, but, it. but Mambasita is obviously what he would call his daughter, you know? So yeah. I get it. And that's why that's why when I woke up to that shit, I was just like, bro, we're cooked. <laughs> yeah, because they immediately took down any post from however, like how long the page has been active that had so that word in it. So I talking shit about the Kobe's. <laughs> <laughs> like at the, the releases and stuff like that. And so they took away posts? Like yeah, they, yeah, they deleted yeah, the so post. They deleted it's like, the uh, post. They, they do that already with like designer shit. Like yeah. if you like, If you put Dior available, Balenci, like Louis. They, it's like, it's like AI, like they yeah. just take it, the po po take it down, you know? They have words that are flagged or even like for... Like, Pictures I think even, and everything. I posted a picture yeah. at Dover Street of a book and the book had like a girl's nipple and it was a book. It's a fucking book. Literally, boom. Taken down right away, instantly. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but you know, it is what it is. I've seen worse on Instagram. But you could breastfeed on Instagram. Man. Yeah, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's fucking code words, bro. Code words or even um, I seen a dude's fuck the LA thing on fucking gory oh, ass. Oh, the, 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 the dude that blew his hand off. The dude that blew his hand off. Like to me, oh, like to me, like that, to me, like, okay, that type of content, more, yeah, you know, should be on Twitter or something. <laughs> like, yeah, that was crazy. Like this, what Willie was sending me, Willie Bazon, bro. These was were sending me every angle, and I'm like, bro, I saw it. That's all I need. Like I saw it once. No, oh, yeah, literally saw the breakdown. Like, like, bro, like you see, I think you. You see more fucked up shit than the word Dior on Instagram, but that's yeah. just me. Again, I don't care. I'll I'll go around it. You know, I'll play by the book. That shit's funny though. Um, but yeah, Supreme dropped the historic glamour stuff today. Pretty cool, but not cool. It's like, damn, this is sick. Then you turn it around, and it's like a dude smoking a bong. <laughs> 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 yeah, the varsity would have been hard without it. Yeah. Um, that little more hair zip up is cool. 
The Vantum is tight too, but that's just gonna be like a thousand dollars. Yeah, Lonnie still owes me. Damn. But I'm waiting for the Vantum. I already sent it to him. The other one, right? The brown one. Yeah. 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 That one's good, bro. That one's really good. I sent it on, bro. So what's the balance or what is it? Like, <laughs> he still owes me a lot. He's on a plea deal right now, but damn. But He's trying it? to cut down the balance, bro. This, I. I Vanson, Lonnie, if you're seeing this, Vanson, Brown Vanson, <laughs> larger XL. That's all you gotta get me, bro. You owe me That's two, but I'll, I'll I'll take that one. I'll, I'll take anything at this point, bro. <laughs> Please, <laughs> nah, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Sound like the tax the, the tax collector when they're like, all right, bro, you owe bro, thirty he bands. Ran, he ran through his Nigels already. Yeah, you already sold them. Yeah, come on, Lon. Maybe he's banking on the uh, the Cindy Bowl wins. What? Like if he wins the fucking Sydney Bowl. <laughs> the jacket's coming out. The ja- bro, the jacket's coming out uh, like soon, you know? Like Yeah. Yeah, it's for so. sure coming out before we uh Before we the Cindy Bowl. But yeah, update on the Cindy Bowl. I suck. We're about to be even this week, I yeah, think. Yeah. I've lost four in a row. And I've won four in a row. <laughs> I'm about to be five and five. I, all my hyped. players got hurt. Um this week I literally sent who the play the fucking Bell High fucking the, high school. The D League uh, team. Versus Mark Cardenas. And I almost won. And then fucking Aaron Rodgers decided to fucking just be the new Aaron Rodgers, you know, like just. just Bro, shout out to Goff. Goff, what look he won me, my. Yeah, Goff threw five picks. That was hard. Can you give the people an update of who's going to be in contention <laughs> for the corner bowl? Okay. You already got, you already got, I, out, I already so. have it all planned out. All right. So this weekend coming up after tomorrow starts what I think is. A crucial game for the corner bowl, which is the punishment for last place. I think everybody's so tapping. Nobody even cares that they're winning a thousand dollars. As long as I don't get in the corner, it's more important. All right, so Cardenas beat me, so now he's at three wins. Yeah, he had to get 180 points to beat a team that started Algier, Demario Douglas, <laughs> and who the fuck knows who else I put in. But I went through the waiver wire. Um, that he he pretty much barely beat. Bucky Irving and Jamar Chase. TBH. Um, but whatever. So this week he plays Hudson, which has two wins. I think I play Hudson this week. Is it him? No, I think I, it's him. I thought he plays Magana. I think I play you. Word? Wait, wait. I th- oh yeah, I think I think I play you. No. You Let play Hudson? See. I think I play Hudson this week and I think he plays Magana. Let's find out. It might be the unless that's the following week. Let me see. Next week, yeah. No, I, I, play, play, I play you. Yeah, I play you. Yeah, uh, Jesus plays Magania. And, and you play Hudson? I play Hudson. All right, so there's four games left. Damn. Oh, yeah, because it ends early, right? Yeah, there's four oh, games shit. left in the regular season. And if Cardenas... So whoever wins that game, the Cardenas and Hudson won. No, uh-huh. no, yeah, Cardenas, uh, Magania won, will yeah. not get last place. Will not be close to get last place because I don't think... Hudson can make win two wins. Low key looking at like the last four games. So the la- the week fourteen is the last week. Yeah, it might come down to that one because then that week Hudson plays Magania. Oh, so that might be the week. I that hope you it tell. ends up. So whatever. <laughs> so right now, but right now Hudson <laughs> continues to believe in Caleb Williams. That was crazy. Which is insane. He left Bo Nix on the bench. Bro, that was yeah, that was nuts. Shout, shout out to and he has uh, two rookie quarterbacks yeah. Yeah. fantasy yeah, it's literally, that's why Lonnie put Lonnie put like damn you trusting two rookie quarterbacks is crazy um but yeah I just I think I need I just need to get two wins and I'll be happy with the team I'll send to the playoffs what what playoffs is the week 15 16 how many uh, it's one, one just one, one through game? one through eight or one like one through six I think one through six oh yeah. shit it's eight, or no? one through eight right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. one through eight or something okay. like that damn so right now and I'm then two contention. people get the one and two get buys Oh, so word? they don't play that fo- that oh, week. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the fucking actual yeah. where you get the fucking uh, the lottery or the wild card game. Yeah, and so shit. I think oh, shit. Fred and um, uh, Julian. Julian Julian are gonna get buys for sure. Those was are ridiculous leagues. I for- feel like you could end up two. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, and Fred. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just need good matchups. I think like, you or Fred is gonna be because Fred Loki lost this weekend. He's on a decline right now. Yeah. So damn, he misses the playoffs. <laughs> nah, in a way, in a no, way, he's locked good in for that. Seven least, and two. Bro. He's seven and two. Well, he's yeah. seven and three now, right? Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Seven, well, yeah, seven and three, seven and three. Yeah, I think I could end up in like sixth or seventh. I don't know, man. I'm like, Projects. I'm like right there. <laughs> okay, so a refresher for the people: what uh, is the punishment? Yeah, what is punishment? The punishment. All right, so you're doing a full shift at Cindy, which uh, is I say, say it again. You're doing a full shift at Cindy, but not in store. 
You're doing it in the corner, the corner bowl. So I'm going to dress you in an outfit of our choice. It could be anything. It could be high heels and a skirt. It could be a... Uh, uh, what's his name? Grimace suit. Brother you know, Grimace suit. It could be so, anything, you know, whatever. It, I think it just depends who's going in the corner. I think it, you never know. It could end up being me. Bruh. Uh, 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 but I'm going to let them pick. So you have two choices. You can do one corner, which is the gas station or the freeway exit, or you could do four and four. So you're going to get four, the, the shift. Half on half. Half and half, and you get a 30-minute break. And what, we'll do like hourly check-ins? They're going to be there. They have to be there. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, we'll oh, just yeah. go and like, record them. Hey, yeah. what's up, bro? Hey, what's, what's up? Going? How are you? How's the corner? Give a little water, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, everything cool over here? Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to get them a sign that's going to say syndicate, buy, sell, trade. So they could flip it in the corner. But yeah, that's the punishment. That's know. better than Ron's punishment. What else they got? Ron, like, <laughs> he said that they have to create an OnlyFans account and Duh. make 100 bucks. No way. And, and, put, doing and that. push Come content on. till they make a hundred bucks. That. that one's pretty fucking harsh. I just have a homie pay. Like, hey, bro, just put a hundred bucks in there. <laughs> <laughs> Get a canal king. <laughs> I, I think they'll let them do the content for like a week or two and then yeah. finally pay it. What about what, the, what they made to do, uh, what they made uh, Felipe Al do? Uh, that that a, one was good. It was a skirt, kilt? skirt and was a, a blazing. It was a skirt and a blazing challenge. That's uh, not that bad. The fucking Wingstop one? Yeah. Damn, yeah. One of the BWW one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that bad. I think that's that. That's that's light. You know, I get it. Your stomach's going to be in shambles, but it's. I think it's light. <laughs> you got a tummy ache. Look, imagine you lose, and I tell you, I'm like, all right, high heels and a skirt and a sign. That one sucks, especially because it's a whole fucking day. I think, uh, I think, like, let's say if Hudson does end up, I'm going to get him the Grimace suit. Bro, Grimace and heels? No, just fire. Grimace. Just Grimace with the sign. Bro. Uh, that shit would be like funny. the real one, like like the, the full, like the, 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 the full, poofy one. Yeah, the poofy. Like nobody's gonna know it's him. The Hollywood which, one. The Hollywood which, one. Which low key, that's a that's a, a li- that's a lifesaver because if nobody, nobody knows it's you. Nobody's that's, gonna, yeah. gonna be like, who the fuck is Grimace here? <laughs> you know, like that's it. And you get to keep it for the future. High heels and a skirt would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, because the, they'll see who the fuck it is. Stilettos. Yeah, the but, high heels but I think good. a Grimace suit would be funny. Um, but yeah, that's the punishment. It's pretty light. Yeah, I would say it's not that bad. It's just funny, you know. Cortez, uh, Horachi came out this week. Pain. I heard it was easy to get, and I, I heard, didn't yeah, try. Yeah, I didn't try. Um, I haven't even looked what they're going for, but hoping people bring them in here whenever they do start coming in. The gray ones are nice. They only dropped that in the like apparel, right? Uh, yeah. I actually have to hit up this fucking homie that hit me up. Because I saw you showed the white ones, too, and supposedly there's one more colorway, maybe a black. It's probably doing three. It's yeah. nice, you know. It's cool. I, I'm glad that he did the good Hirachi, the one with the fucking strap and yeah, everything. And not the other one. Yeah. Because the other one kind of his cheek. So shout out to Cortese, keeping his uh, collabs going strong. Yeah, I feel like his stuff is good. Um, his brand's like continuing going up. Yeah. He's doing the right marketing. Like the rollouts are good. He, um, yeah, shit's hard. Like, can't even be mad at it. Um, but yeah, I want to see him in person and hopefully get a pair sooner than later. Yeah, they've seen those blue Amanir threes. They're nice, but again, it's just like we don't really Another need it. Another pair we don't need. Yeah, it's just like, bro, you already did the fives like that. The Dons or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, again, it's like them just doing more of the same. Like, it's okay to switch it up. Yeah, or actually like, you know, like, for example, that there's a three pack now. There's the white, the black, and the blue one. Like, one of them should have been Super F and F. Yeah. One of them should have been... I'm on here only, and then one of them should have been a mass produced one. Yeah, do three different types of releases for each because they're doing other models too. It's not like they only did the three, they did the fives, they did the fours, and they're all similar colors. So, again, it's like, bro, like, we only got two feet, and with all the other shit coming out, like, people yeah, can't keep like up. Yeah, I feel like it's just on to the next. Like, Wu Tang Dunks came out this past weekend, and it's just like, boom, all right, yeah. gone, all right, fuck it. Um, it was cool to see like the people that actually wanted the shoe that like were like obviously valued it as a super grail. Yeah. And like it was funny seeing like all the old heads doing like outfit grits and stuff like that. Bro, like literally did the whole thing. Yeah, you like see some w- people putting the, the record with the fucking yeah, outfit like they, grit. Like, see, but see, like that's what that shoe's about, you know? Yeah. Like like how we said in like um couple podcasts, uh, like um, like when they had leaked, we were saying like go do a concert, mm-hmm. you know, and then like boom, like the what is that thing called? I always forget. The, the sneakers, sneakers pass, pass drop. Yeah, yeah sneakers drop pass there. drop there. Boom. You were there. You got it one night only. Kind of like the stash stuff. 
Yeah, it was cool that they did the the drop for the Spotify listeners. That was neat. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking for the tea that they dropped too. Yeah, I mean, it, but again, like it's it's like a cult following. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the other day I we have the poster right there, and I asked the staff, "Can you guys name me six oh shit Wu-Tang members with the poster being there and having nine? Did anybody? Everybody folded. Fuck. Um, yeah. and it was funny because like they got all the basic ones. Like not basic, but like all like the famous ones. Sorry, um, but it was funny because I was just like, even for me, like I'm not a fan like that. I got seven off rip. Like, like you got RZA. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, you get me. Like you got RZA. The, the, to me, Inspe- those are the oh. harder ones. Inspect the deck. Yeah, like that. And then yeah, in my head, I'm like, if I know them, and then I know obviously like Raekwon and is Capadonna one of them? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so that's you guys eight. Know. But yeah, yeah. I mean, so I'm that one. that was funny, you know. Yeah, that but, is good. Cause I yeah I wonder if Max low key if so again this is me being a fucking dickhead <laughs> uh, if I was a retailer I would be like all right cool like you know we're dropping them first come first serve you're gonna name six seven of these guys while you're online if you don't name them you're cooked like yeah, I, yeah. I would be out in the front like name boom all right walk in purchase your pair what name walk in all right purchase your pair yeah that I get been it you a know fun way to do it it's it's a dickhead way to do it for me like let's say if I was a retailer but it, to me it would be fun and it would like. It would make people be like, oh, shit, like, this was really asking, you know, like, it's it's funny, you know, like, it's kind of like when skate shops make you walk, walk with your pair out. Yeah. It's the same thing. It would make fans be like, oh, like, yo, like, he's respecting, like, people that actually listen to him. Or even if they, like, you do a trivia or, like, how they yeah. have those people, oh, uh, can you name me this song? Like, some something fun. Yeah. Or, or like, oh, yeah, literally, like, oh, what's yeah. the name of the song? Boom, yeah. play it. If you name that song, yeah. be cool. walk in, get Boom. your pair. It, like, again, like. And you just and it's not like you're disqualified you just get back in line you know you just yeah. get back in line like it, i think it's just like it would make it fun and people would be like oh shit this is like it'd be good content in a way not for sure yeah it's it, it's good and it was a good drop another one that dropped this weekend but i think it got swept under because those dropped too are those all of nines oh yeah we had a pair already in it's right oh but it, it's nice it's cool great show do we need it? Yes. But again, like it would stand out if it was one of the only pairs coming out. Yeah. And that's the thing sometimes. And I feel like the campaign, like they should have campaigned that shoe. Yeah. They like, should have done something like what they just did yeah, with that Jordan Elevens. 11 yeah. drop, which was, was like a cool promo. They're still not going to sell. Like just keep it real. <laughs> like they're not. <laughs> but, but again, but, like yeah, the same cool. effort that you did for those 11s, yeah. you should have done with it. Because we see the 11s, you know, like, and again, like people ask, uh, somebody straight up asked me like, yo, you think those 11s are going to be hot? Like, and I'm like, bro, no kid wants no 11s under the Christmas tree. Like, like just being honest, like everybody's going to want the velvet or the medium olive Travis. Cause mm-hmm. that's what we've gotten. Like, th- like, that's going to be the hot seller this year and maybe old reverse Grinches and old Grinches. They'd rather take a pair of those Black Cement 3s, honestly. Yeah, or the Black Cement 3. It's yeah. affordable, nice, like... More wearable. More wearable. Yeah. A more iconic. Yeah, the Legend Blue is iconic, but it's iconic for, like, that that selective sneaker head, you know? It's kind of like the... like. So in my head, I'm like, you put... You should have done a campaign for that a little better. The campaign was cool for the for the Jordan Eleven, yeah, but I, I feel like it should have got this Olive Nines. It hasn't been brought since what twenty twelve, mm-hmm. like they did twelve just years. Like that winterized one, and then the freaking yeah. uh, the one with the blue, the Concord, which was weird, but whatever. Well, okay, I'm gonna wear those with black sweats. Easy yeah, it's, it's nice, you know, like, yeah. and it just has to be styled right and worn right, you know. To me, again, like a Jordan Eleven is just so hard to wear, but to me. Again, I would take a Pro Tro version of an 11 and use it on court. Yeah, like, they should do Pro Tros of, of Jordans, yeah. like the OGs. Like, I, I, I will, I, I, Jordans would look really nice if they had like new technology inside of them to be able to be worn on court. It's doable. Yeah, it's Clearly. doable. I mean, <laughs> they do it with the Kobe's, and I get it. It's a Co- oh, Kobe's a basketball shoe. I'm like, well, Jordans wore a basketball shoe back in the day, you know? Like, they were. It is a basketball shoe. He played in all of them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, that campaign for the 11s, like, it was nice. Shout out to Janelle and fucking Shoe Hefner. Um, but I feel like the the Olive 9 should have been pushed a little harder mm-hmm. because I even forgot they released this weekend. I just, I just thought they'd been out. <laughs> I had no idea up until like a uh, customer came in and asked if we got any because they, I guess they sold out of men's sizes, which again makes sense. It's a good ass shoe, but um, yeah, try on, harder. On that campaign with uh-huh. the with the eleven, I thought it was funny they had like a, a barbecue going, and I was like, bro, ain't nobody have a barbecue. <laughs> it was supposed to be like a senior camp because they were yeah, like, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, like no, 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 yeah. but like, bro, yeah. ain't no <laughs> one really ever. I've never seen I, that. Yeah, you know? I've never seen nobody barbecue. At a I would, camp I, out, go get funny. some food, and we're all yeah. above. They're lining up. Yeah. 
Yeah. But oh, the yeah. whole barbecue pit, like, or the thing, I was like, all right, bro, I don't know. Yeah, they had the grow right there. That was yeah, funny. it was cool. It was kind of like a like like Spike Lee type thing. Yeah. It was nice. I think I what we knew. I know Janelle, Shu Hefner, and T-Mark. Cool. Everybody else I didn't know, but obviously it's cool. And it was cool to see all the old heads in there, you know, yeah. all versus yeah. all them, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's cool that they got people like in the community too to do it. Like it wasn't just like and it uh, was like it was both East Coast and West Coast. Yeah. Like it was well thought of. Like it was nice again. Yeah. But again, yeah. to me, I just like feel like this shoe should have gone a little bit more love. Because I'm more excited for this than the Jordan Eleven. You know, like Facts. The, same. Um. But what else? What's coming out? I mean, Wait. these black cements. I feel like they're gonna do well. Like great. I yeah, they look nice. good. You worn them a couple of times already yeah, too. They're right? already creasing all nasty. What's up, one fifty? <laughs> Easy money. Easy yeah, money. Yeah, they look good. I, I like the fact that the cement print is lighter on those. Yeah, people have been. It's fifty fifty. I was uh-huh. talking shit about them a couple episodes ago, but I like them. It's a whole different shoe than the twenty eighteen, which is nice. Yeah, a lot of people. Um, I think this one has a better shape. I think the other one does have better materials. But this one to me has better shape. The other one's bulkier. This yeah. one's like just more slim, so it, it kind of sits a bit better on the foot. But um, some people don't aren't a fan of this one. So even right now, we've been getting in a lot of brand new pairs of the 2018s so that they've been in and out yeah, because and of that. Yeah, we're pricing them at 350 too, which is a good price for a yeah, Jordan three. Yeah. They were 450, 500 a couple months ago, so not bad. Yeah, I think this one's gonna do well. I think that both Travises are gonna do well, like for the um, holidays. Yeah, we're on the street is that brown that velvet brown one lows the last one. Hopefully they're actually true Bro, this they've been time. saying of that shit about Ariel and, and, and those pink ones supposed to be coming out next year. Those they're got still? scrapped. I, I heard I they seen, got scrapped. I, I seen the also the the new the the other fragment. Oh, I forgot about white. the fuck. I forgot yeah. about the fragment. Yeah, it's like too much, bro. Like See, now they're just they're you know what they games. need to give us that I, I would be a fan of, but again, is I'm that one selective person or few. The real fragment three. The oh, one yeah, that Kim Jones good. has and the one that Hiroshi has. Well, obviously. The one with the black and blue. Yeah, like the hard. actual yeah. Fragment 3. Yeah. Like, I think that, again, it probably wouldn't do well, but uh, I'd be like, damn, I need, you know, like, I'd wear it. That one was really good. Yeah, because he's supposed to be coming out with uh, some Nike. It's like a Nike collection. Like, they, they leaked the Spiridons. Those look nice. Um, oh, yeah, I've seen that one. That one's cool. Yeah. yeah so, hopefully they do some I other I think cool next year shit. we'll get a good amount of Spiridons. Did they redrop the OG yet or not yet? Mm, not, not yet. yet. Right. It's still coming. Yeah. See, that? that's another shoe that, like, it's like a cult following. I remember when they came out, what was it, 2017, 16? Yeah. We oh, all had them at round yeah. two. It Literally was, all of us had it. It was one of those pairs that was being ran through. Yeah, it was kind of like a Lunar Rome mm-hmm. to the round two staff. Yeah, because they... F- Another good shoe. Fits well. Yeah, fits, fits well. Nice. Fits nice. I would wear it with sweats all the time. I mean, I wear sweats almost <laughs> all the time. Yeah, I'm lazy. Yeah. We got those uh, those Yachty Forces coming out soon. Oh, too. yeah, the Concretes. They look nice. It's like another like Rockefeller linen type Air Force look. Yeah, it's going to be, a f- well, I think it's going to be, it's going to do well because it's going to be affordable. Mm-hmm. Um, Yachty has a big fan base. Um, I was just with Luke and he told me that, I guess he like chilled with him once mm-hmm. in New York and he was just like, bro, like, He's so fucking famous. Yeah, like, no. Nah, he was just like... The last couple of years, especially, he's blown up so much compared to like when we first used to see him at round two. Yeah, he, he was just like, I've been around like other famous people, but the way that he was just like standing, I guess, in front of Denim Tears, the uh, store, like he was just like, bro, that was insane. Like to him, it was cool to see, you know, like yeah. he was just like, oh shit, like this guy's like famous, famous. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I think, he, I think that shoe would do well just because of his popularity. He's a good dude. He's always nice. Like every time Facts. I've encountered with him at round two, like he was super appreciative. The crazy story was the, I think I said it before, where Sean made me open the store for him like at 11, 12 at night. Yeah, in New York. I New York. That. It was like yeah. when we, fr- he had just moved there and yeah. I was there for like a month already and Yachty was in town and Sean hits me up. He calls me and he's just like, yo, like. Yachty wants to shop and in my head I'm just like fuck bro it's 11 <laughs> like it's 11 at night um and again I if somebody would hit me for here I'd, be, I'd do it because it's my store but at that point I was just an employee <laughs> but luckily I lived a, a block away so I was like all right yeah. bet I'll be there no and Sean pulled up too right yeah he, yeah, was, yeah, he, he was in town coincidentally I think it was during his Air Max release yeah so Sean yeah. like had us open the store he was mad nice he bought his whole crew gear bought himself gear and then um sean pulled up and again sean could do whatever the fuck he wants um, he bought the the lv that night the the pink and white one 
Yeah, the crazy yeah. one. Yeah, yeah that, the brand new one. Yeah, but I I just yeah. remember like him like bro his piles being so huge and then just Sean being like all right give me this much boom done out. But yeah, it was a good experience, you know. He thanked us like he pre was appreciative. It wasn't no like oh you guys are meeting me, you know. Like it was more of like hey thank you guys like you know I I, I like he's a real fan of streetwear and sneakers so that's always been cool even when he would come to the Hollywood store same thing like yeah he would actually take his time and like look through the racks and make sure he like didn't miss nothing like oh shit like this yeah. is cool i want to cop this type shit so that was tight yeah that was sick and it, it, yeah. again like at that point he was big already but he wasn't super big where like he would have to have like the store get shut down or anything and it was cool when customers that knew who he was would come and ask him for a picture same thing just selfie boom boom fast like yeah to me that's always cool like seeing that like this guy's just super chill super nice but yeah i think that air force i think it's it's gonna do well yeah. I seen Sean got a pair. Tuji got a pair. Bari. Bari got a pair. Yeah. That's uh, cool that he's like giving those out too. Or like the F and M's not that much different than the the release pair, but it's still like dope. They're thinking about the homies. All right, let me hook y'all up and Yeah, and he's been teasing them for a while, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I know he's like has a bunch of samples that he posted. Um, but this one was the like main one that he posted the most, so Maybe it's the start to like just us getting a bunch of other different colorways in the future. He did like a pattern one too that looked kind of like the throwback babes does. Yeah, I remember I seen that one. That was yeah. a sample, but that was cool. I mean, yeah, yeah that, they're coming out. They should be coming out soon if all the FNF packs are landing. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll get one in soon. Probably won't be an FNF. Probably be. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think that's the shoe people will sell. Like as in like the FNF ones. Yeah, it's one of those ones where it's cool to have too. Where he's just like. All his homies, I feel like, are his homies. And they're going to be like, all right, bro. I'm going to yeah. rock these type shit. Sean and Nikes again. Let's go. That'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take a break. Well, not a break. We'll end it here. <laughs> See you guys next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Right. Appreciate y'all. Peace.